ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் நியூ வீடியோ டுடே வி வில் வாஷ் லினா ஜோஹேஸ் ஆன் மோனோ ஜி ஃபோர் ப்ளஸ் நவ் ஜஸ்ட் கேதர் ஆல் த ஃபைல்ஸ் அண்ட் காபி தம் ஆன் யோர் ரூட் ஆஃப் யோர் ஜெனரல் மெமரி கார்ட் த ஃபைல்ஸ் ஆர் த ரோம் டட் ஜிப் கூகுள் அப்ளிகேஷன் பேக்கேஜ் கேப்ஸ் அண்ட் காபி தம் ஆன் யோர் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் எஸ்டி கார்ட் அண்ட் ரீபூட் இன் டூ ரிகவரி If you are on a ROM that has previously has advanced restart features, use that and you can easily reboot into recovery or you now device is booted into TWRP and go to wipe, advanced wipe and select everything except micro SD card and never mind the USB OTG. This is called clean flash. This will erase everything, each and every partition on your phone. So making sure that the phone is clean and ready for the flashing of the new firmware. and after wipe right, go to install and go to sd card one that is your external sd card and choose linage 14.1 237 nightly 18 18 is the code name for moto g4 plus and recheck whether the file is correct and swipe to flash i warn you do not flash the wrong file on your device this will break your device forever now this process will take on for 2 to 3 minutes or more than that and after this complete just hit the home key and choose the gapps package go to install and again choose the open gapps now here i'm not doing it because it takes a while so i just could quickly get into the rom after you flash gapps you must wipe dalvik flash flash at the end of the gapps installation now click on reboot system now you can see the linage boot animation is awesome and the phone is booted right away you can see the linux logo on start it looks cool and now i'm going to do the initial setup process uh, selecting wifi signing into network choose sim for data and choose for calls etc these things are common when you fresh start new android device or flash a rom now the phone is booted in i have completed the initial setup process this looks exactly like stock android or standard mod 14.1 in case you used it previously there is no theming options or anything available the skin is pure the rom is smooth animations are already smooth i can see and two sim cards are detected and enhanced lt mode that is vivo lt is available for geo calling a moment i choose geo sim for data you can see that the lt data is turned on and one thing is that i don't see a hd icon or vivo lt logo on status bar previous roms i which i have used or the stock rom which i used had the vivo lt symbol and previous resurrection remix rom had hd logo on status bar let's check whether the tower is persistent turning on flight mode and turning it on back turning it off back yeah tower is tower has come and lt signal is there but no sign of vivo lt or hd let's try calling someone i guess vivo lt is working fine they have written in the forums but there is no sign of it somebody inspect that this is the first bill so don't expect it right away but in case yeah i can see that it's working yeah call is call is going on yeah it's working but no sign of logo maybe after a reboot maybe after the reboot it may come but that's it vivo lt is working and you can see android version is 7.1.1 and it's official linage nightly 18 i already said that the nightly 18 is the device code name for moto g4 plus and you can see the linage logo and you can also have the android easter egg cat you can have the latest january 5 security patch and let's just now enable developer options now before that let me show you the gestures available in the main settings menu has some gestures like pull up pull up the device for ambient display which will show you time and notifications which you previously had in stock room yeah and that's looking cool now let's check with other features like double twist for camera yeah camera is also working fine camera is working fine i can confirm focus is also fine okay now let's try chop chop for flashlight 
some people reported that chop chop requests a reboot for working now let's try it without on the first boot right away yeah it's not working you can see the android settings has stopped you need to reboot in order for the chop chop to work and these are similar things which you had in motorola or previous cyanogen mode you can use your fingerprint as home and you can use your fingerprint to wake up the device let's try whether fingerprint is working i haven't set up a fingerprint yet now i'm going to do it unlock with fingerprint yes i'm confirming my pin yes find the sensor and yes i'm pushing the sensor it's recognizing my finger yes done okay now let's check whether fingerprint is working open the app fingerprint is home wow it's nice if you hold the fingerprint it brings up the recent panel there are also some gestures uses reported but i don't think i don't know where to enable it if i found it i will tell you guys let's see. think that fingerprint is working yeah fingerprint is working fine you can unlock the device like stock android or previously used ones with the fingerprint fingerprint is fine and let's check whether root access you already know if you have read some articles that linaje os is not having root access root access is disabled yes root is available only via adb even in case if you want root you can flash the official chain fire a super issue package from the official chain fire site and you can gain root that is simple and you can also see the display size is also available like stock android you can reduce the display size and make your phone look like a tablet or you can make it big enough in case you are old enough to not to read anything that is on the screen and i can confirm that the rom is very smooth animations are slick device is very fast and because just now i booted in now i'm not saying it i have used linaje os unofficial build previously it was very smooth location services are working storage is recognized you can see both the sd card are working fine double tap to sleep on the status bar is available that's it for the today's video if you like it smash that like button if you didn't like hit the like button thanks for watching